Hi YouTubers, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today's video, I'm actually going to be showing kind of a new product to MAC. Um, it's actually a few months old, maybe three months or so, but uh, I just haven't heard a lot of talk about it, so I just really wanted to show off this product because I think it's an amazing product from MAC, and it is their MAC palette. Now you're thinking, MAC palettes have been around forever. This is actually a clear case palette still has its little sticky little product here but here it is it has its mac logo right in the front and it's a all magnet palette so i have been really wanting to buy because i do have mac products and i've been really wanting to buy a z palette to put in my refillable because it's just easier that way to buy it too in its refillable pot and just put it in a z palette so i've been thinking about it but then the shipping and whatnot and z palettes i think 20 25 dollars i mean it's not that expensive really but still like i was just kind of a little put off to by shipping shipping always sucks but then i looked up and i saw that mac actually makes their palette and there is not that much talk about it so i really just wanted to show this off here this is 18 dollars. i actually got this online i went into the store and in store they were sold out so online they had it and right now online it's free shipping, so I really recommend that because then it's like you're buying it from in-store because you don't have to pay for shipping. And it is all magnets, so there is cork right here, and it is a strong magnet. See, I am shaking it just so you can see that this magnet isn't budging side to side. It's not moving at all, and it's a snap shut, and it's also magnetized, and it's actually pretty like strong, like kind of a magnet too. And a few points I want to touch base on is that... Unlike a Z palette, it's not cardboard, I think. I think Z palette's kind of like a strong, like, more cardboard material. This is an all-plastic material, and also, this is as far as it goes. So I kind of liked how Z palette, it kind of, like, all the way around the top, so you can just hold it, like, kind of, like, yeah, if the top is, like, underneath it. I'm trying to explain this so it's not all, you know, this thing's, like, not all flailing around. But this one I, I don't like so much because I'm afraid that it will break because it doesn't go all the way around. But still, what can I say? Like, you know, it is a MAC palette at least. I do have a few other MAC pots that I just haven't depotted, obviously, and I really should just so I can show. So I don't know how much of each can really fit into here. I think eyeshadows, it's kind of like the same like size of a palette as the uh, normal palettes that they had without its like little dividers so the 15 divider I think they were able to fit 26 so I think it's about like 26 shadows that you're able to fit into the MAC palette around there not sure how many blushes so I kind of need to put that together so once I have my palette together I'll probably show it off to show you how my MAC palette my MAC palette looks once it's all put together with my shadows and I need to buy some more blushes that just have really two MAC Prism and Pressed Amber. This one's actually more of a domed one, so I'm not sure if this will fit in there, so that's my worry, but it does seem a rather deep kind of palette, if you see. I did see a video where a girl actually stacked up, so it's about a two shadow kind of like height, just to give you a little reference on that, kind of. So I just kind of really wanted to show this off because I haven't seen a whole lot about it and um, hopefully this helped out. Uh, there's not really much I can really say about it. Before what I was using for my shadows was using an e.l.f. palette. It's like e.l.f. little compact and it's only a dollar and you get to fit four shadows here and that's where I put my MAC shadows it was easily to put in there. So that of my MAC palette I could put this in here but I think it's still reasonable if you want to just use an e.l.f. palette because really it's so cheap because I think the one from MAC is a little bit more expensive, might be around, I don't even know how long, how much it is, $12 or so for like a little four thing, you know? So that works out perfectly, and also you could probably put like Ingla in here, you could put other ones that are able to depart, so I think that's fantastic, especially for makeup artists that are on the go, just have the palettes like, you know, all in front of you kind of thing. So really enjoying this right now, I just got this in actually a, a week or two ago, so this will be interesting to try out. So hopefully this helped out my YouTubers. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, you know you can list it below. Have a beautiful and gorgeous day. Bye.